Hello, this is Todd Luck with news coming out of San Diego Comic-Con about Masters of the Universe. But first, a little bit of catch-up. Motherboard has been cast for Masters of the Universe Revelation. She will be played by Meg Foster. And by the way, Motherboard also ended up with a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive figure, which you're seeing right here. Meg Foster, of course, played Evil Lynn in the live-action movie back in the 80s. And so she was a really awesome pick. And speaking of Evelyn in the live action movie, she's getting a Masterverse figure. Yes, you are going to have a movie Evelyn to go along with your movie He-Man and Skeletor. And so that is awesome. And not to be greedy, but it does make me wonder what else they could come out with. I'm definitely open to more movie figures. I'd love it, but so glad we are finally going to get Meg Foster Evelyn. Speaking of movies, and this will probably surprise no one, Netflix did not want to spend $200 million on a Masters of the Universe movie, so that iteration of Masters of the Universe, the movie, is finally dead. Once again, Mattel is going to be shopping this around to studios, and we'll see what happens. But let's talk about what we are getting, which is the sequel to Masters Universe Revelation, which is called Revolution. And they did show a clip at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm not going to show it to you. I'm going to describe it to you in order to avoid any potential copyright strikes. So it shows He-Man and Orko, and they are fighting Scareglow in his realm. They don't say why this is happening, but we have a bunch of heroes who are called in, including Ram Man, Buzz Off, King Randor, Andra, Snout Spout, and the first animated appearance of Rio Blast. Snout Spout and Rio Blast actually had spoken roles. And then they showed a scene at Snake Mountain with the new Cyborg Skeletor. And we also get to see Too Bad. And Motherboard is in the scene. And Meg Foster does an amazing job with her voice. And it ends with Hordak. And oh my goodness, he talks about invading Eternia. And it is everything that you could possibly want from a sequel to Masters of the Universe Revelation. Hordak is voiced by Keith David, who does a phenomenal job in the clip they showed. I am so looking forward to seeing Hordak in this series. Wildor is confirmed to be a character in Masters Universe Revolution. They showed his Masterverse figure. He is a inventor in the live action movie. He created this thing called the Cosmic Key, which can open a portal to anywhere in time and space. And according to Kevin Smith, he is going to be Orko's frenemy. They also revealed the figure for Skeletech, which is the cyborg Skeletor in Revolution. So you can actually see what he's going to look like in the animated series. And it's pretty crazy. There's also going to be Masterverse figures for Orko in his white outfit, which looks really cool. Tila as the Sorceress, which is awesome. Glad to have that confirmed. And they also had a figure of the Revolution version of Battle Armor He-Man. And I'm looking forward to this one because I thought... The head sculpt on the first Revelation He-Man was really amazing, but the look on his face was too serene, so it's cool to get a more neutral look for our He-Man. Other toy news included Stonedar is coming to Masters of the Universe Origin. He will have both articulation and his classic transforming feature, and you'll notice that the bottom of his legs look a little bit different. The Rock is actually on the back instead of the side like the old figure, but that is so he can bend his knee, which is kind of a nice touch. You'll be able to rotate the rock around to the side for his transformation. They also showed off Lady Slither for Masters of Universe Origins, and they did confirm that her belt is an adapter piece, so you will be able to actually use that snake bottom on both male and female figures, so that's pretty awesome. You'll be able to turn your male figures into a part snake if you want. And if you take a look at the He-Man figure to your left, that is from the new cartoon subline for Masters of Universe Origins. This will be based on the old Filmation cartoon. And so it's going to be characters we've already gotten figures of, but these are new sculpts, and this is going to be based on their Filmation look. And it's going to be, of course, in that gorgeous new packaging with articulation. So even if you've gotten Filmation Masters Universe figures before on the 5.5-inch scale, this will be something that they'll still be kind of new and fresh. You might want to check out if you're interested in that kind of thing. And here's a look at the packaging for the cartoon line. And it is way too pretty to open. That is just absolutely gorgeous. 
They also revealed a bunch of new Eternia figures in the Masterverse line, and I'm just going to show you pictures of those for the rest of this video because I know there's a lot of people who are interested in that subline. And so I'm not actually at San Diego Comic-Con. I'm getting all of this from what I can see on YouTube and online. And so give credit where credit's due. This is stuff from Pixel Dan, Geek Dad Life, Toy Habits, and For Eternia. And those are all really, really good sources for information. There's a lot of people in the last few years who have been trying to spread lies and disinformation about this line, both in the cartoons and the toy line, in order to get clicks and views. So please, please, please follow reliable sources. The people who work on this brand and put their heart and soul into it have no reason to lie to you. So please follow the official Masters of the Universe and Netflix accounts on social media. And if you're looking for fan sites that have reliable news, you've got Pixel Dan, you've got Geek Dad Life, Toy Habits, and for anything about Masters Universe on the screen, For Eternia is my go-to. And of course, I will try to relay as much information as I can to you guys. All right, that's all the reveals I know of right now from San Diego Comic-Con about Masters. And by the way, that footage from Revolution is on YouTube, and it will probably be taken down, but you can search for it to see if it's still up. It is amazing. And there will be some figure reveals later in the show, and so you can check social media for that. I'm not sure if I'll do an update video just for that, but if there's something major, I certainly will. And so like and subscribe for more videos. And until next time, good journey.